Hey guys, welcome to a breakdown of Jake Paul's brutal knockdown of Ben Askren. Now, again, Ben Askren, very, very limited fighter. Uh, he's not a boxer, he's not a striker, um, he's a wrestler. And because of that, he doesn't really know how to get his head off the line. His technique is very, very basic. Uh, and just like I predicted, he was going to have a hard time doing anything in the ring against someone as dynamic as, as Jake Paul, who can get his head off the line and throw power punches. As every time it seemed that Ben Askren threw a punch, Jake Paul was already looking to counter him. Um, and another skill that Ben Askren was supposed to be working on was slipping punches. But almost every single time Jake Paul threw a right hand, uh, ben Askren would try to slip to the back foot and wouldn't really able to get anything done. Now, the reason that that's important, and this is going to be the KO sequence here, is as Jake Paul was coming forward with the right hand, he was noticing that Ben Askren wasn't slipping to the correct side. He wasn't getting his head off the line. He was simply taking a step back and trying to get, trying to find a way off the line uh, without engaging or slipping or using any real boxing technique. Um, so a technique that's actually very, very often overused, just walking off the line. It's very dangerous. And in this scene, Ben uh, Jake Paul just makes a slight adjustment, and he's going to take a step with his jab. And because of the fact that Ben Askren doesn't really slip punches, he just takes a step back. Jake Paul's able to catch him on the line simply by taking a step with his jab uh, and taking that same right hand that he threw just moments before uh, right after and just dropping Ben Askren. Uh, really, really hurting him, and that being enough to to actually for, for the referee to actually stop the fight. Now here we go again. He's going to take a step with that jab just moments after and find him in a very similar position that he was just a few moments before. But this time he's close enough to land his right hand over the top and really hurt, uh, really put a hurting on Mr. Funky. And again, we're just going to take a look at that one more time, just like I show you guys at the beginning, throwing that right hand again. Just out of the blue, no setup, no nothing. Ben Askren hardly sees it coming. He can hardly even react. So all Jake Paul needs to do is find himself in a very similar position and step with his punch. Find himself just a little bit closer to Ben Askren as Ben Askren is not accustomed to seeing punches come this fast. He's not accustomed to seeing uh, even simple setups like this uh, and has no idea this punch is going to come here. Um, anyway... The fight could have only gone this way, and um, uh, an excellent performance from Jake Paul, uh, and a very, very, very predictable one at that.